Yeah. yeah how, smoke- how are you doing? You you I, vape? Yeah. Tobacco? I, I have two. What two years now? Almost. Two years. Yeah, yeah. No no cigarettes. So that was. Did you just stop smoking and you took up vaping? Do you still smoke? Yeah, I do, man. Yeah, are you dipping right now too? Dipping? Yeah. What's that? Like tobacco? Yeah. Do you dip? No. Oh, okay. No. But you still smoke? Yeah. A pack a day. I smoke a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's you know I was a pack and a half a day mm. since I was eighteen. Damn. And forty seven. Yeah. And um, was it hard? Very, because you know I've been sober off of drugs too, right? Mm-hmm. It was harder than anything I've ever had to quit. But I could. One night I was doing a show in, where is it? Idaho, Idaho, Utah. No, no, it was um, it was Utah. Utah at this club called Wise Guys, mm-hmm. and the elevation's high, and I was on stage. I could not fucking breathe, bro. I couldn't do the show. I was barely getting the words out. And I ended my set like abruptly and I just left the stage going, I think I'm going to die. And I just knew I had to quit, you know, but um, it's hard. Have you tried to substitute it with this? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I, I want to like, uh, you know, address the, I heard, I, I was asking someone why I didn't understand how hypnosis might work uh, uh. with regards to quitting cigarettes. Because I figured like that's not going to have any chemical effect on, you know, whatever part of you is craving this chemical. Mm. And then I realized someone pointed out, well, that that smoking is a gestural habit. And so then I was like, oh, okay. So like hypnosis might address like this action that you're used to as Mm -hmm. opposed to, you know, I can't do anything physiologically to you. Yeah. So with that being said, I would probably just replace, you know, with vaping. I'd probably just vape incessantly. And then I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the tobacco lobby who's telling you that like vape chemicals are super fucked up and they're just as bad. Have you not read any of this? I I know that this is harming me in ways that cigarettes didn't but still it doesn't have the same amount of carcinogens yeah as a cigarette does right, because right. just cigarettes in general is just packed with a bunch of it's like the worst stuff. yeah it's the yeah, worst so even though this isn't good mm. it it might still be the lesser of two evils right okay but, but because I know I, I would do it currently I would just it would be another compulsion right, right. And, so and I'd and rather I want to do like cold turkey like I don't you're not wrong anymore. about that because I think that your threshold for nicotine is actually higher because these are pure um, nicotine salts. Mm. Yeah. So um, if he were to ever go back to smoking, he would smoke four packs a day Ooh. to get to the level of how much mm. he's actually taking. You, are you being real? You I'm think not, so? How yes. Do you, how do you you know a lot like with with medical things? How I, used how to, is, I was, was a biochemistry major for a long time, but I was okay. also a nurse for a very brief time. But I've been fascinated because my dad was a big smoker and I've been just fascinated in general about, mm. you know, the difference between vaping and cigarettes. But it is a pure nicotine salt. I guarantee you that's you smoke it more now than you ever did with cigarettes. Think about the time in between. I know. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. It's a bummer. Yeah, it's At a least fucking with cigarettes, bummer. you have to step out. You sort of had to make a thing of it. Yeah. I know. With this, it's like you can... You mean your sleep and, and I know that Paul has the same thing as me in terms of like this action is associated with other things like behaviors like like when I'm about when I'm doing a shell yeah before you do a shell right you have a cigarette yeah. right after a shell it Talk, feels good to talking have, on the phone right <laughs> yeah 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 waking up in the morning it's nice to have a cigarette right I try and resist that one that really one, that one feels dirty yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The early one. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dirty. Yeah, yeah. But there was like, yeah, after sex was one for me, you know? It was just one of those things that I associated stress. When I'm in a, like, when I, in, when Oliver Hudson is on set and he has a cigarette between takes, I watch him and I go, I wish I could. Because that's what I used to do. There's just something cool and, you know. It- I, I, I get that. But you know what I found even more interesting was a friend of mine who has been smoking since the age of 15. Mm-hmm recently just got pregnant and she she was able to quit everything Mm. and mind you she's a person who swore that she could never quit cigarettes never quit vaping she just was somebody like you where she associated all the good times in her life or all the relief from anxiety with cigarette smoking but as soon as she found out she was pregnant it was not even a big deal for her i i heard pregnant women get like a extremely sensitive sense of smell Mm, that's true. Yeah. So I feel like for Especially them, it's like suddenly trimester. like way grosser than it ever was. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
but it was she yeah. just dropped it and she she's like I suffered for three days, but after that it's a yeah, lot I can, easier. I could understand drop. if there was a baby inside you, right? <laughs> but and me going, there's literally a baby inside me, right? I'm gonna have to quit. But she expected a longer suffering, is what I'm saying. She expected to be down and out for weeks and craving it and all oh, these things. Oh, I see what you're saying. And she was out for like two and a half days, and she was like, actually, this isn't so bad, and that's it. Well, she's better. Yeah. She's stronger than us. I don't know. I don't she's know. not, though. I, I want to, a buddy of mine who just quit, I asked him what he did. I was like, is it Chiantix or hypnosis or how did mm. you quit? And he said that it was the easy, he did the easy way to quit smoking, the Alan Carr method. What's that? Huh? It's one that I've heard a couple people say they, they like quit cold turkey off of this. It's some dude who wrote a book and then he would do seminars. And if you went to one of the seminars, you'd, I guess, listen. I, I don't know all of this. You know, I might be wrong on some of this. Like a two hour seminar, then you go outside and smoke. Then you come back in, do another two hour seminar. Then you go outside and have like your last cigarette and then you never smoke again. <laughs> what? And so I bought his, that was what one person told me yeah. years ago. So I bought the book and I was starting to read the book and the idea being like, you read this book and then you smoke your last cigarette and then you're done. Yeah. So I was scared to quit smoking so I didn't finish reading this book. <laughs> but, but what I yeah. gathered at the well, time, was, the but check, it, check it out, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, because then I figured, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Oh it's my god! Tough habit, yeah, tough yeah. habit, man. But what uh, I I think the key element to this dude's premise, yeah, was that the it's in the tobacco industry's best interest to make everybody believe that this is like this impossible habit to kick. Mm. But in fact, and this is where I'm not sure I have the information exactly right. But what I took away from it was that nicotine as a chemical after you smoke a cigarette is like cycled out of your system in like eight or ten hours. So mm. if you took a drug test like twelve hours later to detect if you've been smoking, you wouldn't be able to. Wow. So technically, if there's literally nothing in your system, there's no ev- you. it's like you were never a smoker mm-hmm. 12 hours later. Wow. So it's not like heroin where there's like actually some kind of chemical dependency that's going on. Yeah. This shit is, all, like, there's nothing in you now. Because nicotine so. itself is just a mild st- stimulant compared to caffeine. Right. Right? Is that's that right? what they compare it to. Nicotine in its purest form is not actually terrible for you. It's just what nicotine is packaged in. Huh. But it's but it's not but I've never thought that nicotine addiction was physical, right? Oh, okay. It was always psychological. Right. For well, me. I think you're right. Right. So I think that's, it's that's psychological. That's what he's saying. Yeah, so yeah. I guess his point is like just don't light up another one. Yeah. Just mm. like you've, you're yeah. not you're not actually in need of that thing. Yeah. Well, can we just do that now with you? I haven't read the book, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, I know. The book but what, like you have cigarettes on you on your jacket. Yeah. Right. Perhaps. Yeah. 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 I mean, what do you smoke, by the way? Camel lights. Oh yeah, Camel Bleu. I love Camel nowadays. Yeah, I was a um, what was I? American Spirits kind of a guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm willing to bet it's easier for him to quit cigarettes than it is for you to quit that. That is. You know what she's doing? She's yeah. trying to get us both off. Something <laughs> it's not going to work. It's not going to work, it's it's not gonna work for bullshit. me, but it might work for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's never going to work for me either. But I'm serious. I think that vaping is a is a is a much difficult have more hab- a more difficult habit to quit. Go back to cigarettes. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned it. I should. I don't know. It's okay. Here's the thing. It's okay. Here's the thing. Shut up. Fuck. I love you, but shut up. Okay. Thank you, Bryce. Is this? Here's the thing. Okay. Is. Sorry. I quit all alcohol and drugs. Mm-hmm. Okay. I quit cigarettes. Okay. This is the last thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm in a. You know. You know. It's stressful. Be doing what you're what you do, right? There's there's levels of stress mm-hmm. that you go through, and I just don't know right now if I want to get rid of the last thing, you know, because I am, you know, stressed out a lot of times, you mm-hmm. know, and it's also it's like you know it's my last thing. I'm not like Steve O, you know, yeah, Steve O is like a vegan, and you mean he, you know, he, everything's so pure now with him. Mm-hmm. I'm not like that. You know, I'm like, I, I, I just, this, you know, I love Steve McQueen. You know what I mean? That, you know, what is me, that? Steve McQueen, the actor, like, he, you know, he's just a gritty guy. You know, I like, you know. Oh, you want a flaw, you want a vice. Yeah. You want to be a bad guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't do it like that, Paul. <laughs> you want to be a yeah. bad guy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I get it. I want to be, you know, and I, it was, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you probably, you, you're right, though. You have done a lot of positive things, so, I mean, you should commend yourself for staying off all the other things. Aww. No, I, I mean, I hear you, man. I hear <laughs> yeah. You. 